Hey, what's up guys? For this question, I'm going to be solving evaluated division, lead code 399. And for this question, we're given an array of equations and their corresponding values. And the question here is given the an extra parameter, which is the queries, can we derive the values of these queries using the information that we have from the equations and values array? So I'm going to use a union find approach here to solve this question. And initially, we're going to use a dictionary where the key is the key of the node. Uh, so in this case, it's A, for example, and the value is going to be the parent ID and its weight. So initially, H knows its own parent and its weight is one. So similarly for B, its weight is one and as well as C. And we, when whenever we want to link these nodes is when we know there's a value that we can link it to. In this case, for A over B, when we run the union function and pass it A, B, and one, the resulting graph is going to look like so. A, B, and two, sorry. The resulting graph is going to be two as its weight and B is still looped around itself with one and C's own parent is also one. And similarly, when we do union B and C, passing it three, the resulting graph is going to look like so a to b and now b's parent it's not b but it's c and the weight of that is going to be three so at this stage now the dictionary looks like so a it's got b as its parent and the weight is two b it's got c as its parent and the weight is three and c would be in this dictionary with its parent being itself and its weight being one okay, so this is initially what we're going to do uh, just using the equations and values array but now we want to process the queries array and we want to figure out how do we get a over c and b over a and a over e a over a and x over x so we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna be using the find method now to do that but initially we can actually filter out a couple of these uh, so x over x x is not even in the dictionary we can simply return negative one for this and for a since it's over itself we, we know that's going to be one and a over e we know e is not in the dictionary so we can simply actually do minus one as well and now for b over a and a over c this is where we're going to use the find method so to figure this out we first need to find what's the parent node for b and we also find find the parent node for A. So looking at the dictionary, we know that B returns uh, C as its parent and its weight is three. And A, uh, this is where things get a bit interesting is A is connected to B and B is connected to C. So using that, we can actually shortcut this and simply link A to C and multiplying all these weights along the, the route, which gives us two times three, which is equal to six. For A, we're gonna update this uh, in the find method to be parent having C and its weight is six. But now this method returns C six. And now to figure out what B over A is, we simply divide these two values. So three over six, which is equal to half. Now similarly, once we do finding A over C, we're going to do run the find method on A and the find method on C. And now since we've updated the dictionary, A is going to return us C as its parent node and six as its weight. And for C, C still has its own. Uh, parent node as itself and its weight as one. So now when we do A over C, we simply divide the weights of each corresponding node, which is going to be six over one, which is six. So this is at a high level how things work. But now I want to actually write the pseudocode for the union and find to go into more detail about how would uh, how this translates into code. So for our find method, uh, it's going to take the node, uh, like for example, A, and initially we're going to check if it's not in the dictionary and we add it in the dictionary initially with its own parent node being itself and the weight being one, as we discussed. And we're just going to destructure that right here to use it later on. And this is the part where we check if the if it's not its own parent, uh, where we talked about it here. We want to update it uh, by recursively uh, going, going through its edges and multiplying every edge that we find. And we're going to do this like so. We're going to find the new group ID and you wait, calling the find method on the group ID that got returned. And we're going to update it here to be the new group ID and the new weight times the weight that we have right here. And finally, we just return. So in the case where we uh, call this find method on A, we're going to see that initially A is not in the dictionary when the dictionary is empty. So it's not going to go through this for loop and it's just going to return A and one. But now when we update the dictionary and make it so that its parent node is B, and its value is two. We're gonna have this if condition executed because the group ID is gonna be BB and X is gonna be A. When we recursively call the find method on B, B in the dictionary is gonna be us. And for the union method, it's gonna be similar to how we always do it. We're gonna pass it the dividend divisor and the value. And we're only gonna call this when we process the equations array. So initially we find the group ID and the weight for the dividend. And similarly for the divisor, and this is where we want to union them if they don't belong to the same group already. And as we said, the divisor's entry in the dictionary is going to be, uh, sorry, the dividend in the dictionary is going to be updated. 
we're going to use that here for the dividends group ID, which is one, is now equal to having its parent as the divisor one. So group ID two. And the weight in this case is going to be uh, the value times the weight of the divisor over the weight of the dividend. And why we need this actually is say we have the case where we have a node A and we've already established a link to B where let's say this is two. And now we want a union with E. So when we pass, we want a union with E where the query is A over E is equal to five, for example. So when we run the find here and pass it A and the find here and pass it E, this is going to return us uh, B as its parent and the weight is two. And for E, since it doesn't have any links yet, it's going to return us E and its parent is one. I mean, and its weight is one. And now we want to update A in the dictionary to be its group ID being E and its weight to be uh, essentially like backtracking from here. So dividing by two and multiplying by five, which is the value here. So it's five times the weight of E, which is one and dividing by two. And that's how that works out. So in this case, it's going to be essentially like having a link from B to E. And how you how do you get to that is you divide by two to get to A first and you multiply by five to get to E. So I hope that made sense. I think it's uh, simply a twist on the union find uh, approach. So once you have that uh, solidified, I think this question would make a lot more sense. And I'll have a link in the description for a good good video on explaining union find in detail. But now I'll quickly go over through the code, but it's going to look very similar since this wasn't really pseudocode and it's, it's the actual code. Initially, we're going to start with the empty dictionary and have the find method taking in a node as we discussed. And we just first check if it's not in the dictionary and we simply make it its own parent with a weight of one. And we can just destructure that right now. And this is where we update the links as we discussed. And we finally just return from this method once that is done. And for the union, we're going to get the, actually, let's name it dividend, divisor, and value first. And we want to find on the dividend. And similarly, the divisor. And if they don't belong to the same group, this is where we want to do something. This is where we want to union them, essentially. So the dividend, we're going to update that. So dictionary of the group one. It's going to be now having group two as its parent and its weight is as we discussed we first multiply the value by weight two and divide that by weight of group one and this is now where we essentially just call these methods so first i'm gonna call union and all the equations that we have dividend an divisor and the value and i'm just gonna zip the equations array and values array so it's just one array with these three ones combined together. And we're just going to call dividend advisor and value on them. And that should do it. And now for the queries that we want to find out, first we check if it's not in the dictionary or the divisor is not in the dictionary. We can simply append negative one since there's no way we can find those answers. If we don't even know the equations initially for them. And if it's equal to each other, we can append one since if you divide something by itself, it's going to be one. And for the other cases, we do find on the dividend as again, find on the divisor. And if they're the same, if they're in the same group, then we know there must be a link between them, connecting them. And we simply just do uh, similar to division, like you divide uh, dividend over the divisor. So it's the weight for the dividend over the weight for the divisor. Uh, otherwise, there is no link between those. And this happens in the case where like there's a disconnected graph. So two two nodes don't have the same parent. So we can't find a link between them. And we just append negative one and we return res. Okay, so in this case there's a mistake somewhere here. And let's see if we can find this. So dictionary group. Oh the issue here is we're calling this wrong. We need to pass in just the group ID, not the actual uh, value in the dictionary. So yeah, that should be the solution for this. Thanks for watching.